Hello everyone, welcome to another Windows 10 video. My name is Ed and in this video I want to show you um, how the network settings has been enhanced and how actually easy it is to you know view your settings and you know uh, change things etc. So in settings you click on network and internet and straight off the bat it will give you a status about your network that you're connected to. It says you're connected to the internet and right away I can look at my daily usage. Uh, if you're on a limited plan, if you like you on a 3G connection and you you know have a need to put in a data limit, you can enter a limit here. Um, if you want to look at the properties of you know this, then basically, and I'll show you, you can go to it you know in, in several ways. Is if you look at the properties, or if you click on Ethernet. And then your your, device, your network uh, device. You can see that you can specify this as a public device or as a private device. You has your meter connection. Um, you can set your meter connection. Right away, you can see that you know it tells you your IP assignment. You can actually get your IPv6 and IPv4 addresses, etc. Um, it gives you a driver version. I mean, it's it, everything is here for you, and you don't need to go, you know, first click control panel, go look at this and this, etc. Um, so off the bat, there's your status. If you need help with, you know, f with all kinds of things, if you click on these links here, they'll take you to web pages and give you a step by step um, guide to show you how to, you know, find your IP, for example. Um, you can have ability to view um, hardware and connection properties. The network troubleshooter is actually quite um, nice. I've used it a few times. And on my machine here, I had an issue the other day, and doing a network reset actually goes and uninstalls the network card, reinstalls it, etc. And obviously, now I've got um, internet access again. So you have the ability here to set up a, a new um, dial-up connection. And anything that you do here, there are obviously related settings. VPN, you can add a VPN connection directly from here. You can see the look and feel is a lot nicer compared to control panel. And I mean, obviously things change over time and you know everything is getting like this 3D or 2D, you know, Kind of effect. Um, you have the option to set advanced options for VPN, and if you use a proxy, you are you can set it to automatically detect. And if you want to use a, a script, you get ability to put that in here, or if you, you can switch off the automatic and you can enter your manual proxy settings, where you can say use a proxy server. This is the address. This is the port, and just like. Um, with IE, where you've got to specify, um, you know, exclude these addresses, etc. Then you can add them all in here, and then you can you have the option to say don't use the proxy server for local addresses, so whatever you specify. So if you have a maybe an office network at home, for example, and you're using a proxy um, for whatever reason, then you can you know if you have like a a shared intranet or you know stuff that you don't want to go to the proxy then you enter it in here and then you click save so it's just pretty straightforward now the old method um, is still there if you go to control panel if you go to network and sharing center You still have the option to go and change the you know the adapter settings here, etc. But doing it from settings is just actually a lot easier. So as you can see, um, there's my speed, as you can see. And if I click on change adapter options, 
it'll obviously bring this up for you as well. And if you want to go to the network and uh, sharing center, I went the old way, control panel network and sharing center, which you still have here. Um, now normally on server edition uh, and this one, if you click the alt button, then you bring up the menu, you have the option for advanced settings and you can bridge connections, etc. You can change your view. Uh, one, two. So it's hidden from you. It doesn't mean that it's not there. You just got to press the Alt button and you'll basically um, have the menu available to you. So that is the network status settings uh, all in a nutshell. Thank you very much for watching.